So it has started to snow here in South Dakota. It is about 20 degrees today, which is perfect for us. Yesterday was about negative six, 10, somewhere in there, but it was way too cold. But 20 degrees is the perfect weather for me to get out with my dogs. Um, usually nobody else is out, so we have the place to ourselves, which is perfect for German short hairs because they, in my opinion, are not leash dogs. And so they do best in areas where they can be off leash. So when it gets cold like this in 20 degree weather, everybody else goes indoors and me and my dogs, we come outside. So come along. So one of the questions that I get a lot has to do with how I trained my dogs to be good at hiking um, off leash when I go. Because actually off leash is all that I do. Um, German short hairs are extremely strong as adults and so I pretty much stop taking them on leashed walks when they're about six months or a year old. Um, but I do not take them on unleashed walks until they are a year old. So I don't take them as puppies off leash just because I find that um, they need a little bit of training at home first. So before I even decide when they are ready to go off leash, one of my main factors is obviously their name recall. They need to be able to come back to their name easily, quickly, and as soon as I say it. And so that obviously starts when you first get them, um, automatically teaching them their name, name recall, and getting them to return to you um, with ease. Perky Benny, come on. Perky Benny, come. So once they have that down, then I will take them hiking with me and I will put them on a 30 foot leader leash. So it's basically a really long 30 foot leash that attaches to their collar and that way they can run. Um, but if they get further than 30 feet, it's easy for me to kind of run up, step on that leash and then they can't get any further. So they kind of learn to stay fairly close to me at that point. So once they get good at staying within 30 feet and coming back to me and having that kind of 30 foot freedom and then um, recall to their name, then I will take the leader off and then um, I will put an e-collar on. And so just a shock collar, that way they, if they get too far, they, um, I, I just give them a little shock. Most of the time I don't even need it um, anymore. The collar is enough that they stay close and they don't get too far. Um, so I actually haven't really ever had to use it all that often, but it is enough that they get it. Okay, lastly, once they have um, got their name recall down with an e-collar on and I don't have to use the e-collar and they've done that consistently, then I will go ahead and take it off and I'll just have their regular collar on that has identification on it and they are ready to go. Where are they? Back there somewhere. So it's nice to be able to come out with them when they are off leash because they can run the way GSPs are meant to run. Um, I've just never really felt that they're leash dogs. I know a lot of people have success on leashes. I never have. It looks more like they're walking me than me walking them. So it's best that I just helped figure them out how to do it off leash. <laughs> So 
so one thing I should mention is that when I was training them, I trained them one at a time. So I didn't, even when I had the second one, I didn't do them together because I wanted to be able to focus on one when I was doing it. So two of them would have been distracting. And so I was just doing one at a time um, until they were comfortable on their own. And now they really like to go together and they actually tend to look for each other. So it has started to snow pretty hard so I went ahead and packed the boys up and we are headed home so we can get home safely before the roads get back. Have a great week! <laughs>